main person, a key person for Alia, in fact, uh, Professor Park Jong Won, as our moderator for this session. And he is the formal president of the uh, Korean National University of the Arts and also the key person for the founding of the Asian League of Institutes of the Arts, which all together uh, enabled this event to be held here. So please, the floor is yours, Professor Park. Kistaro Digishi, Dean of the Department of Visual Design, Top University of Arts and Design. Shi Shi Yang Chen, the President of National Taiwan University of Arts. Convergence is the rising topic in these days. Korea is not an exception to this phenomenon of postmodern society, such as continuous development of digital ICT, information communication technology, expansions of global culture, weakening of national identities, intensified consumer society, and differentiation of value system. Within the traditions of Korean society, the meaning of the word convergence is creating new knowledge and culture integrating the existing boundaries. The branches of academic disciplines such as natural society, humanities, social science, arts has been kept for a long time, but now boundaries of these branches are converging. The, univer the universities are trying to expand prospects of integrating knowledge. The chaos used the slogan, Cumberland's Art Education in advance of other universities. The chaos established based on six different schools that include School of Music, School of Dance, School of Drama, School of Film and Multimedia, School of Fine Arts, and School of Korean Traditional Arts. Until now, each school has been operating independently. It could be explained as a positive aspect to have autonomy and independence of each school. But in other hand, this system signifies that there are big barriers between the schools. Now the awareness of that educational system has reached its limitation is getting bigger, increasing the barriers between each field and genre of arts, like music, finance, movie, dance, and drama, 
are no longer effective in this society. The argument that the art itself is integrated, so the art education should be integrated as well, has recently gathered the strength. Convergence and integration are not confined matter of inter-school exchange. Various cooperation models between the school, schools lead to convergence from different levels. The art education which developed inside of certain area and certain national system can intensify their art with nationality, national tradition, local tradition, and with their own histories, but they have, they let the change to community with the arts from outside. When the artist or the art educator trapped in certain area, range, nation, culture, and society, the imagination will get stopped too. Thus, it is very important to find and expand the way to accomplish art education beyond the borders of nationality, language, and culture. And this is in the consciousness of alias establishment. We have to find methods and models of art education in in a broad sense that accomplishes in various forms between the arts institute and universities universities in Asia. Finally, this would lay the groundwork for more integrative arts education through the communications and cooperation with art and art education of Europe, Africa, and South and North America. The art has more power than politics, economy, and religion because the art always can universality. The art can universality of human being which transcends the nation, race, language, culture, and history. So the art always provide the power of integration to the people. Let's image that what kind of inspirations, emotions, and consciousness we can get from reading the literature, listening to music, watching the movie from all over the world. There is nothing that can replace the power of us. So I suggest to discuss and to think about how we can cooperate each other for better arts and art education. I am I'm expecting for the existing discussions from panels of this session about integration and cooperation of art institutes. Thank you. Transdisciplinarity 
and about integration of arts institutions, I thought the theme would be the cooperation in higher arts education. In this talk, I will speak from my experience within an art school, within ABM network, and also a little bit as a newcomer in the cooperation between ABM and ALIA. It's a merger of former art schools. Formerly, 25 years ago, we had Utrecht Music Conservatory, a theatre school, and some schools for fine art and design. And government stimulated us to merge together for reasons of effectiveness. And so we did. So we became an umbrella, which is now called Utrecht Uf University of the Arts, and we're now 25 years on the way. What did we do to make this amalgamation work? Our managers had a two-fold strategy. On the one hand, to respect and articulate the differences in location, in culture, in types of education, in educational models, in ways of working, on the one hand. And on the other hand, to focus on the joint aims. And those joint aims were directed towards a new future where the different disciplines simply had to work together. They chose to work on an internationalization policy, and I'm very happy to see some of Utrecht's partners here, and RMIT, and um, I saw uh, Helsinki, and I saw K-Arts, and I saw people from uh, Yogyakarta. And uh, this originated, this policy to work worldwide, it originated 25 years ago. And when people from different disciplines go abroad, they get to know each other and maybe they cross some borders. They also invested in new programs, which were a little bit beyond the traditional disciplines. So they chose to go for art and technology, music technology programs, image and media technology programs, and interaction technology programs. And they also started programs in arts management, nowadays called entrepreneurship four-year course on bachelor level and an annual course, and a joint curriculum for teachers training. And all this was done in order to build a new community together where people could work together on new fields. many art schools not only merging together into a university of the arts but also going into wider uh, educational institutions together with universities in science and humanities. There is a difference though from in now from 25 years ago. At that time the reasons for effectiveness were predominant. Uh, the government wanted it and that's why we had to do it. Nowadays, I see students and staff and researchers being also having some interest in working together because they see that the labor market, the cultural field, the practice where they prepare for is highly international, interdisciplinary and international and cross-sectoral. Our graduates nowadays very often have their own discipline as a root discipline, but in working in practice, they cross the arts disciplines and they work in creative teams with people from other disciplines. And also, they cross the sector. They don't stay in the arts educational sector, not in culture alone. They move into medicine, in technology, in business. You can imagine that this influence from outside now, on our school, for example, Utrecht University of the Arts, Here's an extra push to this cooperation inside the institution. So we see even more need and willingness to work together. And nowadays, in our school, most students uh, do projects in the third and fourth year to 
together with students from uh, different disciplines and very often involving partners from outside the school, from business, from cultural institutions, from government institutions. You can imagine that this is very challenging for our, our teachers. They used to be the master who knew the discipline very well. And we see them move to more, much more towards designers of a learning environment, where sometimes they're not a teacher or a master, but they have the role as a coach. They help students to find the best within themselves and to uncover what is typical for the individual. And they develop, help students to make their individual learning trajectories, which go across the disciplines and across the sectors. So we are opening up doors between disciplines, between sectors, and between countries. And we are not alone in Europe doing so, and we recognize here in ALIA that for some institutions this is very natural to do so, and for other institutions it's not, and at a different stages. So it's very difficult to find out when I'm standing here who of you has a lot of experience and it's a normal story and for others it's a new story. I'm now going to move to Elia. Elia, you know, is a network of 300 institutions, as Paula told. There are many differences between the institutions. We have institutions of 500 students, but there are also institutions of a few thousand students. There are also differences in the length of the bachelor and master courses. And there are also differences in how much the school or an institution is directed towards the outside world. Some very closely cooperate with institutions or organizations outside the school, and others say better leave that until people have their have graduated. Moreover, there are differences in the university system. Some art schools are part of the polytechnic system and others are in the university system, more towards the academic side. And last but not least, we have within Europe very big differences in the economic situation. For some countries, for some schools, the members can easily take a flight and come here. And for other schools, it's very difficult to pay a fee to go to a conference. So how do we deal in Asia with all these differences? In a way, we do similar thing that at my school, Utrecht University of the Arts. On the one hand, we are working very much on the articulation and the respect of the differences. On the other hand, we work very much on the joint focus. Talking about the respecting of differences, we see. Um, sorry, I think we go. One further piece. Yes. Uh, speaking about the respecting of differences, how do we do that? I give an example. For instance, when we organize the Teachers Academy, where teachers from various countries come together to exchange their didactic models and their artistic models and their ways of working, such a conference is prepared by a diverse team with representatives from many countries, north, south, east, west, many diff disciplines, many attitudes, um, and we do the same in the design of our projects. For instance, a research project, we also organize the office, a office together with a diverse team. That's the respect of the differences. But we need to move forward. We need to have a joint agenda. We need to have ideas of what we can do together. And uh, in the last years, we have been working on that joint agenda and it's directed towards quality enhancements. Everybody wants to be good and better and better. And on innovation. And it turns out that if you exchange information, if you showcase the differences help you to move forward in an innovative way. Now it looks as if all these examples always go over roses and it's 
not at all the truth. We have been practicing to understand each other, finding out whether what we say is understood by the other schools, by other members. And sometimes this gives very lengthy meetings. I remember, especially in the first years of ALIA, it took a while until we would set an agenda. Now we're much more used to each other, but it was not easy. For instance, for the word research, for the Frank, it means everything is research. And maybe for people from the Netherlands, we think of research on a PhD D level. So you really have to find out what people mean with the words being used. What is this double focus of ALIA leaders do? <coughs> I think what we got is lots of new ideas of working. For instance, in a teacher's academy, which we will be organizing in May again, and where we invite you all to come and present your type of work, we showcase teaching models from different disciplines. But what we do also is to choose common themes, such as the impact of technology, interdisciplinarity, entrepreneurship, themes that we all have to deal with independently of our national background or discipline background. And those themes give good fuel for discussion. In the Neunau Festival, we do the same. We showcase work from the different areas in Europe and outside Europe nowadays, from the different disciplines, from graduates, from the different art schools. But we also choose a joint team working on entrepreneurship. And what we find there is a huge diversity. For some students, it's the first time to think even about making money in their career or to draw a CV or to know how to document the work to present it to a curator or to, for theater people, to approach a theater or a curator or a programmer. Whereas in other schools, there are four-year programs of a few hours per week where students are prepared to do so. And it's very interesting to exchange models and to see that in these times in Europe, for nobody, the future is secure. It means that people will organize themselves in small and flexible organizational financial structures, which are different for each project and where they choose other colleagues in each project. And European research says that these little uh, firms can be very strong as long as they have enough knowledge how to be viable. And this is what we, for instance, do in discussions in Neuna to exchange information. As for research, I think there isn't a theme that is so diverse in within ALIA as the research arena. Some institutions focus on artistic research, purely artistic research, the artists within and through the arts. And other art institutions are focused towards the creative industry and work together with the industries and have a form of very applied research. The financial models are different. The people who judge the quality of the research are different. The choice of people who can do research are different. The whole content and organization is different. If later you get a book that was stuck between uh, Amsterdam and Taipei, you can read in the share handbook all the different models. And um, when I presented it in France, uh, the colleague said it's so interesting to, to find your own identity just by confronting it with the various identities that are explored in the books. There's no model the same, but it helps you to articulate where you want to be. As for quality enhancement, where Paula will speak about later, we find that it's very interesting to look through another culture and another discipline and another institutional eye. It really gives a richness of your own quality to do so. And the teams of experts that are doing the quality visits for ALIA are always a diverse team. Now, it's very impossible to hear some general comments about cooperation between Asian institutions and European institutions. And 
almost everybody here has experience working between Asia and Europe, and there are many different models. Student and staff exchanges, obviously, very often affiliations between institutions to help each other, also in quality enhancement. But when I listen around in Asia of members who are cooperating with Asian institutions, I hear very specific, very beautiful, extraordinary models which show that people use the difference again as a vehicle for innovation. I heard about models of Dutch institutions working with institutions from Korea where the enterprise world is involved, where the, uh, the city is involved, where the local government is involved, and where many universities are involved, and they build living labs which do experiments for the future, in the field of technology, that is. I also heard here, here the Art and Peace program is a good example, where institutions from different parts of the world come together to uh, put strength on some joint themes, such as peace, sustainability, climate change. It seems as if, as when partners are coming from far away, that they can find their sense themselves in a joint agenda which goes beyond the difference, which opens up new grounds. And this brings us to where we are now. Elia and Alia, and uh, it's very nice to be back. Uh, two years ago I was uh, at KRS at the founding of the conference, and now to be here uh, at the this conference, and um, I think now that we start to really exchange information and get each to know each other on a personal level, we can start to find out whether we understand each other when we speak. We can start to understand which words we use for what. And I see many happy faces during lunchtime, so I see that there is a recognition of the potential of these links. Then when this first talk is starting, I think it's about time to draw a joint agenda. So I'm so curious what Elia and Alia will do together. On which points we will be surfing on the waves of differences and respecting the difference. And on which roads we will have a joint focus towards the future. I trust very much that this conference will lead us to uncovering that ground of cooperation and that we can open up completely new areas and ideas for the future. When I heard the first session, three completely different uh, presentations, I thought, where could be that joint focus? And I heard something underneath that could be maybe a red line already, one of the many. Probably. But I heard that all the three speakers were speaking about tradition versus innovation and how to deal with it. And you can see that whether you are in Elia or in Alia, in which country you are dealing with this contradiction and this dynamic. And uh, I think that could be a starting point, but there are really many more. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, I think the keyword of her speech is diversity and recognizing difference. I think it's very important. Okay, next. <laughs> Kishitaro Negishi, Dean of the Department of Visual Design and Top University of Arts and Design. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Kishitaro Negishi, president of Tohoku University of Art and Design. And Tohoku means uh, east, uh, northeast in Japan. Uh, our university is located in Yamagata Prefecture, which is next to Fukushima Prefecture, where the great earthquake hit in 2011. And I'm pleased to have a chance to participate in this 
meaningful international conference today. Now, please let me start my presentation. And Tohoku University World of Designers, TUAD, has always been seeking out ways of making world and the lives of people better through two powers, the power of art, which value true nature and origin, and the power of design, which can make people happy. However, overconfidence in science and technology has brought a lot of negative effects, especially the nuclear accident at Fukushima, caused by the great East Japan earthquake. Established out of the reflection of modern civilization, we must keep on challenging the issue of modern world. I'd like to share some of our experience. It's the retiring to today's topic, integration of higher earth education. In Kidad camp, since the aspect in Japan, we have been hosting workshop called Kid Art Camp. They are open to families living in Fukushima Prefecture and they make a variety of art pieces with student volunteers and teachers who are also artists. One workshop we had in past was the one involving a play the new translation meeting, which is a famous Ukraine folk story. Participants are divided into five groups for creating, creating dances, costumes, improvisory music, backgrounds, and stages, and they concentrate on working on their own jobs for the play. Wilhelm Richard Wagner, the great German composer, said, the play is a total work of art, composed of different artistic elements in the workshop, as well, the outcome of each child and each group was organically intertwined to become a play, and it ended up generating a wonderful unity of performers and audience. We hope that the Kids Art Camp can contribute to helping participants build bonds and regain the energy to live. We also put great efforts into practical projects such as renovating actual architecture. Nowadays, more and more people are inter interested in eco-family innovation, innovation. We have already incorporated innovation in classes and be presented in case is a renovation by a Misawa class, by a student of the architecture and environment design department. Student found the old abandoned Misawa Inn and they negotiate with its owner about innovation by giving a presentation. Their well thought out presentation to a bank also brought success in obtaining the understanding and the approval for financing. Students were directly involved in the design and construction and as a result they made a great success on the renovation of an aim. This learning by teaching 
This learning by teaching project was huge success in real society outside the classroom. Some students still live in the renovated inn, and it is occasionally used as a gallery or a cafe for events, which give people suggestions of unique, unique ways of living and using an area open to the public. After the success of renovation of Misawa Inn, people, his neighborhood, became more and more intrigued with renovation, which developed into B holding Yamagata Renovation School, tied up with Yamagata City. The school is aimed at giving students and even working people a knowledge of special design, financing arrangements, and management solutions which are required for innovation. We hope the, the opportunity eventually motivates more people to move into the rural city and leads to its revitalization. The government's community and TUAD are now working together. Renovation project is not only the processes of designing tangible objects, what we call monozukuri in Japanese, but also intangible project, what we call kotozukuri in Japanese, such as redesigning the community and lives of people as a whole. Therefore, we need a lot of special knowledge from a wide range of disciplines of art. We expect that this project can actively involve more and more students and different fields and departments. Today, communities throughout Japan have many concerns such as the declining birth rate, the growing population of elderly people and the population. In order to solve this issue, in April 2014, TUAD started the Department of Community Design, where communities will be designed from various angles. The objective is to solve problems through the develop development of human resources that will support the members of the community as they themselves solve the regional problems that they themselves bring forward. Design skill will be freely used as much as possible and various approaches will be used. In addition, the objective is to involve a wide range of fields such as food, agriculture, nature, welfare, tourism, art, education, energy, medicine and disaster prevention in order to meet various needs. This course indicates one possibility of transdisciplinary teaching and learning. In order to expand education and achieve our goals, it is absolutely essential for us to develop a variety of direct and indirect networks, not only in Japan, but throughout Asia. Being a member of ALIA, TUAD is now working on a collaborated project called Stage Trailer Project with two universities, Kyoto University of Art and 
design as KUAD and Taipei National University for the Arts as TNUA. This project requires many elements of art because this trailer is not only a stage for play but also a piece of art itself. This collaborative artwork will be exhibited at the Yokohama Triennale in 2014 and used as a stage for an actual play performed all over the country. We consider this project a first step of international experimentation for the integration of world education. Also, we had the opportunity to make a presentation about the calligraphic workshop we held last year called Let's Make a Forest by Lighting Tree. At Korean Art and Cultural Education Service, which KUAD and TUAD made an arrangement with. In the workshop, many families wrote a lot of Chinese character or tree, imagining what if they were trees and a tree of their memories. All of these unique trees were gathered together in the studio, resulting in a rich forest. We also held another calligraphy workshop in which families expressed bonds and connection with others through letters on the various themes. Though more chances of practical art education in real society, we strongly hope that we will share more successful outcomes for improving education and that we will be actively involved in international networks as much as possible for future cooperation and contributions. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He introduced uh, his, uh, the representative program of his university, uh, his camp, uh, renovation of building, uh, community design, stage trailer. Uh, I think uh, it is uh, practicing to uh, bring the art inside our lives. Thank you. Uh, next, Xie Yong uh, the President of the National Thai University of Arts. Thank you, uh, Dr. Park. Uh, I'm very happy and very honored to be here. First, I'd like to take an opportunity to thank uh, President Yang for inviting me here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, I'm pleased slide. Oops, technical problem. Always a happen on the best one. I'm sorry. Okay, good. Well, uh, I'm from National Taiwan University of Arts, and uh, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, my uh, our experience in international collaboration, as well as I'll use an example uh, to uh, depict uh, our collaboration with our uh, community surrounding uh, by our university. Uh, next. First, I'd like to uh, uh, give you a little bit of background about uh, our education in Taiwan for most of Taiwanese educated here. Uh, you can take a nap uh, for the next three minutes. Uh, but for the, uh, our foreign guest, uh, I'd like to introduce you a little bit about our education system in Taiwan. Uh, first of all, starting from kindergarten and uh, elementary school, uh, 
Um, actually, we don't have much, okay? Um, for the, the particular for elementary school, uh, most emphasis still on the uh, general courses uh, such as math, uh, Chinese, and uh, social study. Excuse me. And uh, we have uh, only a uh, limit uh, course hour for our activities. And most of them emphasize on the uh, music and the fine arts. For students enter enter into the junior high school, they have three in uh, junior high, and then another three years uh, uh, at uh, uh, senior high. Uh, they work pretty much the same system. Uh, they have most of uh, emphasize still on the uh, general courses for preparing students for the uh, you know the next level uh, uh, senior high or universities. So uh, our courses and activity are still limited because uh, most of parents or the society as a whole still think of that's not the you know the main issues. Okay, unless the student uh, show a very strong interest in the art activity. Otherwise, uh, parents uh, wouldn't care too much, you know, for preparing their students to, you know, for that kind of uh, art activity. But uh, still, but this, is, this uh, condition has been changing during the past couple of years. The Minister of Education started to uh, put more emphasis on our education. So I guess we have you know, a very uh, good expectation uh, for uh, our education at uh, uh, high school, uh, junior high school, elementary school uh, level. Uh, for those students, they are very interested, uh, they are very talented uh, to, for the our, uh, for the our uh, activities. Uh, they usually will uh, compete very hard to go to university like uh, uh, Taipei National University of Arts or my university, uh, National Taiwan University of Arts or the other one, or another one uh, in Tainan. So that's pretty much the uh, education in Taiwan. And next one, please. Now let's take a look at the total number of our related students in Taiwan. Uh, uh, showing this slide, let's take a look uh, from the, the numbers from the year of 2008 to the year of 2012. As you can see here, for undergrad students, the student number has been increased every year. Okay, but uh, for postgraduate students, stay pretty much the same. Okay, uh, there is a slight uh, increase uh, for the master degree students to uh, go to the our universities. Next one. So there are a couple of advantages of our education in Taiwan. Uh, focus on, on creative process and appreciation. Emphasize the multi-faced quality in the arts. Plus focus on the students. Uh, Strengths the need to combine the learning with students' daily experience and such and so, and such and so forth. Uh, uh, I didn't need I didn't create those words. That's from our Minister of Education. Okay. But anyway, by promoting our education, the government aimed at the rights of the students' ability to appreciate arts. Okay. The goal of our education in Taiwan to create an innovative and a creative Taiwan to realize an ideological connection with the rest of the world to offer citizens the opportunity to fully use their talent so, Minister of Education and the Minister of Culture, a couple of years ago, they put a strong emphasis uh, on the uh, creativity uh, connected with our education. The core value, they said, the core value for the 21st century lies in creativity and the broad world visions. So, uh, stay, today we are here, we are talking about international collaboration, world both world visions. That's something that uh, we needed to focus on. So, our education can therefore serve to stimulate students' creativity 
and to go guide them to a more view of the world and the deep understand of, understanding of history. That's uh, the advantage of our education in Taiwan. Next one, please. Although, like I said, of, although the government has spent a fair amount of money both on the uh, construction and the numerous art-related facilities and on the promotion of artistic activities, the participation from students and citizens was still low. As a result, our education has not been very effective and uh, could not ultimately change the people's life. Okay? There was a research result uh, published uh, in the year 2008. But currently, the government is trying to help our professionals to develop their own career. There are many policies that promote the talent and the artistic and designers. However, in most existing schools and curricula, the support and facility for our education are still not well funded. That's the current situation. Next, please. Okay, so uh, let's talk about some of the recent impact of our education in Taiwan. The year of 2002 was the first year to implement a national plan called the Challenge 2008, uh, with one important emphasis of cultural and creative industry development. And uh, as our university, we are uh, expected to cultivate more young talent to help uh, promote that or work at the industry. Since 2008, Taiwan has begun to promote a program called Develop Cultural and Creative Industry. In May of 20, uh, 2008, a national development plan called Create Taiwan was formed uh, by President Ma to boost it the development of cultural and creative industry. So, not until the year 2010, the first cultural and creative industry development policy was legislated. So, through the joint effort of the public and private sectors, Taiwan's cultural and creative industry has de have developed rapidly over the last few years, getting recognition internationally for its many uh, world-class product, service, and performance. And university, our university like us, uh, like I said, we are expected to cultivate young talent to go into the uh, industry or to be artists. So there are two kinds of choices for our young talent. One is to be an artist in their, you know, their own field, or they can you know, develop themselves go to the this cultural and creative industry. That's pretty much uh, what NTUA uh, is working on. Okay. Uh, next, please. Now uh, I'd like to take a little bit opportunity. Uh, so for those Taiwanese educated, please wake up. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'd like to introduce my university a little bit. Next, please. Uh, this is my university. We have five colleges. Uh, College of Fine Arts, uh, College of Design, College of Communication, and College of Performers. Uh, NTUA was founded 59 years ago. We are going to celebrate uh, 59th anniversary this month, the end of month. And uh, we emphasize on uh, not as visual art as well as performing art. Uh, a lot of courses uh, focus on the pure art, but uh, about 40% of the courses still uh, uh, focus on the apply ads for students to go to the industry. Like most of students in uh, College of Communication, uh, they don't just learn the pure, pure arts. They have to uh, learn a couple of things related to the industry. Okay? Because that's uh, their field uh, for their futures. Okay, next. Uh, this figure to show you a couple of uh, most of our uh, academic unit. Uh, we have uh, 17 departments offering uh, Bachelor of Arts, Master of, Ar uh, Master of, Master of Arts, and Master of Fine Arts. Uh, we have four doctoral programs, three research and teaching centers covering three fields uh, uh, in our education, cultural policies, and management of arts. Uh, the student body is about 5,300 which is the largest art university in Taiwan and the oldest one. 
and uh, we're painting, sculpture, um, design, craft, and digital content, animation, uh, motion picture, TV, radio, publishing, drama, a uh, couple of them. If you are interested, please go to uh, our website, www.ltu.edu.tw. <laughs> Thank you. Next one. For uh, international collaboration during the past three years, I've been the president uh, for the, you know, since three years ago. Uh, I do find out uh, one of the drawback of the university is uh, globalization. So I put a lot of emphasis myself, trying to expand uh, our international collaboration opportunities. And so far, as you can see uh, on these numbers, so we have a uh, uh, more than 140 sister schools around the world, and half of them, well, I shouldn't say half of them, about 60 of, 60 of them uh, are in China. And uh, for these 160, uh, 140 uh, univers uh, sister schools, we do a couple of things, okay? And this will, uh, will correspond to uh, the lady speaker just mentioned that join a uh, focus or uh, what, you, what kind of joint focus we should have for airline or allies. Okay. First we do a uh, student exchange, of course that's a simple one. Okay. And we do faculty exchange. Uh, I personally eager our each department to set a spot uh, for visiting professor. Okay. For that professor, uh, for that particular position, they can hire a visiting professor for 140 sister schools professors for one year, okay? So that's, uh, right now, uh, about half of the departments, uh, they found out that's very worthwhile to do that, bring students a different you know, uh, experience in the class. Okay, uh, second one uh, is internship overseas. Since we have, uh, many uh, international opportunities. So usually during the past a student uh, just you know, do their internship in Taiwan. But right now, we send our students to their co-op study or internship overseas by the help of our sister schools or their uh, you know, connected industry. So right now, each semester, uh, every day, we probably have like a 12 to 15 students. During the summer, they don't do internship in Taiwan. They do internship outside of Taiwan. Okay, and that's the, we will uh, really uh, look into the contract uh, between the university and the, the cooperation and to make sure they pay the airfare, they pay the salary, they pay the insurance. So, students are quite happy. And uh, next one, uh, we do dual degree uh, in exchange student with our uh, sister institution. Right now, we have four uh, sister institution in UK. Uh, for example, uh, the Manifor, or Kingston, or Bath Spa. We do uh, sign up their dual degree uh, country with those four uh, those universities. So our master student will spend one year in Taiwan and one year in the sister institution. They will finish their master degree uh, with two diploma. One is offered by NTUA, one is offered by the sister institution. And uh, it started three years ago. And right now, uh, students uh, uh, work on the opportunity by a really heavy competition to get that position to go to uh, duty degree programs. And uh, we also do uh, the joint exhibition and the joint performance with uh, sister schools. Okay, so for example, uh, we do have a fine art, uh, bit fine art uh, exhibition in Chinese painting and calligraphy in Tianjin in China. And uh, that's this, this just happened this summer. And next year, next year, it will happen in our uh, campus. Okay. And uh, one other uh, 
uh, collaboration is uh, summer camp. We work with our sister school for holding summer camp because uh, you probably know, uh, I know some of the university in the United States, they, don't, they still have class going on, but in Taiwan we don't. Uh, kids will go home for three months and unless they will take opportunity to do an internship out, otherwise they will have nothing to do, okay? So we try to do the summer camp at least the other uh, sister institution so they send their student to learn to work with our student at our campus, okay? That will give our sister school students to have more opportunity to know NTUA and our students have more opportunity to learn from uh, other countries' students. Okay, and uh, the other one is joint curriculum development for teachers and students. Okay, we work with uh, our sister school, not all of them, just some of them, they are willing to do so. Um, develop uh, curriculum for particular for uh, open courses and uh, web courses. So, but they have to, you know, on the official language is English. Okay, and uh, we have a couple of faculties. Uh, they are very interested in doing so, and the university provide funding for them to develop those kind of courses. Uh, of course, they have to uh, when they submit a paper to ask for money to do so. They have to show us the, you know, uh, agreement from the sister schools uh, faculty team so that we can uh, provide funding for them to do so. And then. The next one will be uh, Joint Research Center. We now uh, do have two uh, uh, joint research centers uh, focused on uh, digital media and uh, uh, on the, uh, let's say that that professional term should be digital archive, okay, on the Chinese cultures. Okay, the big Chinese culture. We have one collaborate with uh, Zhejiang uh, in China, one with uh, Wuhan in China. That particular research center are funded by uh, two institutions. And we work on the, every year with a particular uh, pick up on a particular you know, uh, project that related to uh, Chinese culture uh, preservation. And the, we provide funding uh, both uh, partly equally uh, to do the research. Okay, uh, next please. Uh, these are the, we don't need to go through that, please. Next. Okay. Next please. Okay, uh, right now, uh, now I'd like to take a, a couple of minutes uh, to do some, to, uh, to present something different. This is a good example that uh, how uh, our university uh, work with uh, community uh, to deep down our education down to the elementary school or junior high school or senior school levels. Okay, uh, there is a, a project called a Dark One Our Educational Region. It is located at uh, the Dark One Road. Okay, I know. Thank you very much. And that one row is the main street uh, in front of our university. Okay, uh, please, next one. Okay, now let me show you that. It's a National Taiwan University of Arts on the center. Uh, we are surrounded by two elementary schools, one, se one senior high school, one junior high school. Okay, and each, uh, High school or senior high school or elementary school, they have kindergarten too. So they, those institutions are surrounded uh, around by our university, but oh, we are surrounded by them, but within one mile distance only. Okay. So this is a this is a very interesting area. I think it's a, a the only one uh, very unique uh, area in Taiwan. You you, you probably. You probably don't find something like that. I mean, all within one mile, okay, walking distance. So what we do is, please, next one. Since the year 2008, uh, the previous 
uh, leader of the university inside our country with those institutions. Okay, we are trying to uh, use the resources of the uh, every institution, including NTUA, to help those uh, high schools or elementary schools to uh, cultivate more young, you know, talent uh, in our area. Next, please. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go slowly because the time is up. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Good. Uh, from the 2008 to now, right now, uh, from uh, to last year, we already offer 89 uh, different art courses to uh, the the other four institution, and the student number involved is uh, about more than 1,800. And those Chinese characters, I'm sorry because I don't have time to translate it. They have a uh, 14 uh, courses. They have you know dancing, drama, fine arts, and animation and comic. Okay, please next one. And these are the uh, students uh, involved. Uh, the, the graph show you. As you can see, during the past three years, the student involved in this program, uh, this uh, collaborative project, has increased uh, each year. Next, please. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the you know, pictures uh, for those uh, you know, classes. This is a dancing class in the elementary school. Our, our great student, our senior student, uh, uh, we sent out them uh, to actually they are volunteer. Okay, they go to the elementary school or the uh, high school or senior high to work with kids as an instructor to teach them, you know, different kind of art courses. Next, please. Next, please. Okay. Uh, this is for the multimedia animation uh, courses. Next, please. Uh, for dancing, next please. Just quickly uh, play, okay. Join, okay. Uh, stop. Well, go back. Yeah. Well, uh, the, for us, we do have uh, uh, you know uh, meetings every month to go through you know uh, to voice different op opinion to. Uh, receive different suggestions from those institutions so that we can do a better job, okay? And, uh, next please. For the end of semester, okay, the kids, the instructor, our student, they have to work together to do performance. They have to go on stage. They have to show their, what they have learned during the semester, okay? And the uh, parents and the community are very strongly invited to see the you know performance or see the exhibition, and we we found that our parents are very happy, and the, the leader of the institution are very very satisfied because they don't have to spend uh, too much effort, too much resource, but with the help of NTUA, their kids grow, their kids learn something different, their kids. Uh, their, their kids have found out they are talent and the parents are very happy particularly because you know once you see your kids jumping on the stage and uh, you see their Chinese painting or calligraphy you should be very happy parents should be very very happy so that's something that you know uh, has a lot of a lot of outcome that parents and the uh, institution they are really appreciate what we have done for them next please next please Next, please. Okay, uh, not until two years ago, the mayor, uh, Mr. Zhu of New Taipei City, they found out this outcome is really amazing. So they come to uh, the university, ask them, can we work with the city government? Make it official every year. So right now, every uh, October is the, the month of our education for new type C, okay, but the outcome of this project is the main strong emphasis. 
So right now, the new Taipei city government uh, give uh, those, those institutions uh, some of the funding and give our students some of the pay for their effort to be a teacher. Okay, so once the government resource, uh, you know, injected into the problem, we have more resources to do more things. Next, please. Okay, next, please. So these are the opening, you know, ceremony that a uh, mayor uh, of the new Taipei city they come and officially announce uh, this uh, Dangguan our educational region is official two years ago. Okay. Okay, next please. Okay, next please. I'll step here. Okay, uh, for the conclusion, uh, I'm sorry it takes so long. Uh, for the conclusion, uh, i like to say, uh, although NTUA is not part of member of ally or allies, or we look forward to be one of them. And a couple of the international collaboration, we do uh, with our institution, with our sister institutions. We hope if allies or allies can do more, and uh, especially for the mechanism, to design better, better mechanism, that will be benefit all of our, uh, all of the, our university around the world. So that's my conclusion, especially for one particular strong emphasis I want to say is the open courses, join curriculum, develop joint curriculums for faculties and students, students, I think, and put on the web. I think that that's something that we can do uh, real quick in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. I could see that uh, a general art educational system in Taiwan uh, also, and also I can see recognition of value of arts has gotten bigger in Taiwan. Yeah.